Okay, so we're back to basics here. Um, this is what they like to call a burpee. I like to just call it a really fun experience. So you're going to step back. You're going to jump back with both feet. Nice light landing as you jump in and get as much air time as you can as you jump up. All right, so you're just going to walk out into a plank position. So start down on your hands and knees and then palms shoulder distance apart. And then as you lift your legs up, just make sure your shoulders are down and back away from your ears. A little micro bend in your elbows. You don't want to lock them out. And then squeeze your bum and pull your abs in as tight as you can just to control the core. Okay, so roll down onto your tummy, arms engaged out in front of you, palms turns towards your ears. And then keeping your eyes down towards the ground, raise your arms and legs up towards the ceiling. Make sure your core is engaged from the front just so you have your lower back supported. All right, so crawl it out into a plank position. Check in that your head, shoulders, and hips are all lined up, hands shoulder distance apart, and that your shoulders are drawn away from your ears. As you squeeze your glutes and your abs, tap one shoulder and then the other, alternating back and forth. And if this is too difficult, you can always drop your knees down to the mat and try it from there. All right, so crawl it out here. You've got your elbow right below your shoulder and then your hips are all lined up. And then as you raise yourself up, just think about squeezing your bottom glute and pulling your lower abdominal muscles in as you hold. Okay, so I just want you to crawl back. As you're leaning back, check in with your lower back and pull your lower abdominal muscles in. If you feel anything in your back or your hip flexors, I want you to just stop there. But if you're totally fine, extend your arms forward and rotate side to side. Enjoy. So you're gonna roll down on the floor in this exercise and just get comfortable. As you place your hands behind your head, make sure you're not intertwining your fingers and tuck your chin into your chest to support your neck. You want to think about leading this exercise with your ribs right underneath your rib cage, not your neck and shoulders. That'll make a huge difference. All right, roll down on the ground, head and shoulders relaxed, and then toss your hands underneath your bum just to support your lower back. Keep your shoulders and neck relaxed as you lower your legs down as far as you can go. You'll feel your obliques kick in, and you want to think about keeping your abs super, super tight as you alternate your legs back and forth and you'll feel your obliques on the either side of your hips. Enjoy.